Hello and welcome. Let's talk about preeclampsia. What does it mean by preeclampsia? Preeclampsia is a multi-system disorder of unknown etiology characterized by development of hypotension to the extent of 140 over 90 mm of Hg or more with proteinuria after the 20th week in a previously non-potensive and non-proteinuric woman. Now, according to FIGO, it is a multi-system disorder characterized by de novo onset of hypotension and proteinuria after 20 weeks of pregnancy or in absence of proteinuria accompanied by hepatic, renal, hematological, neurological manifestation of intrauterine fetal growth restriction. Now, diagnostic criteria of preeclampsia, hypotension, an absolute rise of blood pressure of at least 140 over 90 mm of Hg measured two times with at least four hour interval but not more than seven days apart. Proteinuria, presence of total protein in 24 hours urine of more than 0.3 gram or more or urinary protein over creatinine ratio more than 0.3 or equal to 1 plus protein in at least two random clean cats urine samples. Bedside heat calculation test is positive. Edema, pitting edema over the ankles. Now risk factors for preeclampsia, primigravida, young or elderly, family history of hypertension preeclampsia, placental abnormalities, hyperplacentosis, placental ischemia, obesity, pre-existing vascular disease, new paternity, and thrombophilians. The actual pathological factor for preeclampsia includes failure of trophoblast invasion due to abnormal placentation, vascular endothelial damage, inflammatory mediators, immunological intolerance between maternal and fetal tissues, coagulation abnormalities, increased oxygen free radicals, imbalance of angiogenic and anti-angiogenic proteins, genetic predisposition, and dietary deficiency or excess of protein. Now, etiopathogenesis of preeclampsia, hypertension. The underlying basic pathology is endothelial dysfunction and intense vasospasm. Following factors aid in hypertension during preeclampsia like trophoblast invasion and uterine vascular change, imbalance on different components of prostaglandin, where PG, I2 decreases and TXA2 increases. Increased vascular sensitivity of pressure against pressure agent and 2 nitric oxide decreases, endothelin 1 vasoconstriction, inflammatory mediators, and abnormal lipid metabolism. Now, clinical types non severe, where a sustained rise of blood pressure of more than 140 over 90 mm of Hg, but less than 160 mm of Hg systolic or 110 mm of Hg diastolic without significant protein is seen. Now, severe, a persistent systolic blood pressure above or equal to 160 mm of Hg or diastolic pressure above 110 mm of Hg, proteinuria, oliguria lesser than 400 milliliter per 24 hours, platelet count less than 1 lakh per millimeter cube, health syndrome, cerebral or visual disturbances, persistent severe epigastric pain, retinal hemorrhages, exudates or papilledema, intrauterine growth restriction of the fetus, pulmonary edema, and serum creatinine more than 1.1 mg per deciliter. Now, clinical features, symptoms. There may be mild symptoms like swelling over the ankles, which later progress to face, abdomen, wall, vulva, and whole body. Or there may be allowing symptoms like headache, sleep disturbance, diminished uterine output, epigastric pain, eye symptoms like blurring, scotoma, dimness of vision, or sometimes complete loss of vision. Now, signs there may be edema, whether it's swelling over the ankle or face. Abnormal weight gain, increased blood pressure, anemia, per abdominal examination, fundal height less than is of the gestation, and epigastric tenderness. Now, investigation urine, 24 hour urinary protein, urine RME, blood, serum uric acid, more than is equal to 4.5 mg per deciliter, serum urea, CBC, serum creatinine, and hepatic enzymes like AST, ALD, ALP, and serum bilirubin, ultrasonography, and ophthalmoscopic examination. Now, management. There may be general management, management, control of hypertension, prevention of convulsion, obstetrical management, and treatment of complication. General management, hospitalization, bed rest, high protein diet. Now, control of hypertension may be done by antihypertensive drugs in case of oral alpha methyl dopa, nifedipine, labetalol. In case of injectable, labetalol, hydrolysin. Now, prevention of convulsion. The drugs used to prevent convulsion are magnesium sulfate, digipam, and phenobarbital. MgSO4 is the drug of choice which is given as loading dose about 10 gram.
no prerequisite for magnesium sulfate therapy. Deep tendon reflex will be present. Respiratory rate more than tubular breaths per minute. Urine output more than 30 ml per hour. Now management of magnesium toxicity. East of the magnesium therapy. Estimation of serum magnesium and creatinine levels. Injection of calcium gluconate 10 ml 10% solution IV slowly. Now obstetrical management. If BP is controlled by anti hypertensive drug, then continuation of pregnancy up to 37 weeks. Our mode of delivery depends upon the condition of the mother, fetus, and condition of cervix. If favorable, vaginal delivery, but if not unfavorable, but if unfavorable, then induction of liver or cesarean section. If treatment of complications should be done if they are present. Now complications, maternal. Immediate complications during pregnancy like eclampsia, oliguria, anuria, APH, health syndrome, preterm labor. During labor, eclampsia, postpartum hemorrhage, during piperium, eclampsia, shock, and piperial sepsis. Now, remote complications like residual hypertension, recurrent preeclampsia, chronic renal disease, and risk of placental abruption. Future complications like intrauterine death, intrauterine growth retardation, birth asphyxia, and prematurity. Now, health syndrome. Hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelet count lesser than 1 lakh per millimeter cube. The liver enzymes like AST more than 70, ALT more than 70, LDH more than 600, and serum bilirubin more than 1.2, and eventually liver may rupture due to sudden hypotension. Now, management of health syndrome anti seizure prophylaxis with magnesium sulfate, corticosteroids, platelet transfusion, and seizure section for delivery. End of the topic.